hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners in this video and the next video we are going to see how to create a simple login app using android studio now i decided to break this login app in two videos because uh, if i show it in one video this video can be uh, really lengthy and boring so uh, let's get started in this first video of uh, this login app we are going to design our uh, login uh, application and we are going to set up all the resources and in the next video we are going to see how to uh, write the backend code for this application so let's get started i have opened my android studio and we are going to create a new android uh, studio project and in here we are going to name our application for example simple login app okay and now i'm going to click next and we are going to uh, make this project for uh, phone and tablets and make sure uh, whatever version you uh, choose here uh, minimum sdk it covers 100 percent of devices here click next and we are going to choose the blank activity click next and uh, the activity name we are going to give is login okay so login activity okay now i'm going to finish my so now our project is uh, set up uh, and now uh, this is the first activity we uh, can see here which is login activity now I'm going to create one more activity so that we can redirect uh, the user if he provides a valid login and password so that uh, it can be a you know, user's activity so that he can access some, some screen or some activity after login. So now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new activity and I will name it as user activity. So in your app, just go to this resources folder or RES folder and inside this you will be able to see this uh, folder called layout. I'm going to right click this folder and I'm going to create a new activity here and this activity will also be a blank activity. And this activity I will name it as user activity. Okay, and I will finish this. So now we have two activities. One is login, which we will use to uh, create our login page. And the other is user activity, which will open after, uh, you know, authentication of the user. Okay. Now, uh, what we are going to do is, uh, let's go to uh, this uh, activity underscore user dot XML and see the path or the context of uh, this activity you can see here so what we are going to do is in our manifest folder so in the app folder there will be a folder called manifests and inside this folder there will be a xml file called android manifest file okay android manifest xml file i will click this and here you can see your both activity one is our main activity or the launcher activity and the other is our user activity so in here what we are going to do is we are going to set up the intent filter for uh, the second activity also in uh, our first activity which is uh, login activity this intent filter is already there right but in this um, user activity you can see only the name is there and the label is there but there is no intent filter okay so we are just going to copy this uh, intent filter tag from our login activity and we will go to this uh, user activity which we have just created and paste this intent filter here now there can only be one launcher activity for your uh, app right so the second activity will be a default activity launcher activity means that the first activity which will appear is this launcher activity which is our login activity now the user activity is our default activity 
and this we are going to open whenever we uh, you know authenticate uh, the user right and the name of this activity uh, will be the content name of this uh, second activity so go to your activity underscore user dot xml file and in here you can copy this uh, path from here which will be com dot uh, whatever your path you have given here com dot something dot something dot user right so just copy it here go to the android manifest dot xml file and paste it here in the action android colon name is equal to and in the quotes you just paste this path here now we have uh, successfully set up uh, our second activity now we are going to design our first login activity here so what uh, we are going to do is in here we will uh, uh, pick and place some uh, text views and added views so that uh, you know user can enter his uh, login credentials So now our design part is almost complete. We are going to do one more uh, thing, which is uh, transferring our all string constant to uh, the string dot XML file. So uh, in your app folder, there will be a folder called values here in the resources folder. So go to resources or RDS folder, and there will be a folder called values. And inside this values, there will be a folder called strings.xml file. And in here, you can define all your, all your string constant. And it's a good practice to, uh, you know, uh, transfer your, all your string constant here so that you can easily find them, right? So what we are going to do is uh, once uh, you have uh, done designing your app, you can uh, just go to this content tree and in here on every uh, you know text view and other uh, button you can see a small little warning yellow uh, light and when you click this you will be able to see a small little button or bulb here and just click this bulb and this bulb says hard coded string login page should use string resource so uh, android studio also gives us uh, the option to uh, you know define all the string constant in our string xml so just click this uh, uh, message here and then it will open your extract resources file and file name here is strings.xml and in here you can uh, name your resource so this text page is our text right so you can just name it as login underscore text so it's just a id for your string okay and once you are done with that you can click ok okay so for the first time it can show the warning like this rendering pro problem could not resolve a resource but when you do the same for other other stuff like this one 
uh, username, you no longer, you know, face these problems. So this is for user name underscore text. Okay. And I will do the same for, you know, every text and edit text and button here so that all these resources are transferred to my string dot uh, xml file you can see we have created lot login underscore text and the text on this login underscore text is uh, login page in the same way we have uh, defined uh, one more tag for uh, username so i will do the same for other other text boxes or text views and buttons right So now I have successfully defined all my strings uh, to the string in the string.xml file. So now I have defined all my string constants or all my strings as constant and I have transferred all my strings as constant in my strings.xml file. You can see all my uh, you know uh, strings like username password attempt login have some uh, you know a tag here or constant name here so that i can reuse them in uh, some different uh, place using these uh, tags or tag ids right now our designing is done you can uh, even go to the second activity which is activity underscore user dot xml file and go to the design and in here i can just uh, drag and drop a uh, large text and i can change the text So now our design part is almost complete or complete and in this video I'm going to just show you this design and I'm going to stop this video here itself and in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to write some code so that user can enter his uh, username and password and we will also uh, provide some uh, number of attempts here and then once he logs in and if the login is successful he will be successfully redirected to the activity.xml file so stay tuned for that video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now